McCreary County is a favorite destination for people who love outdoor adventures. And people who are interested in Kentucky's coal mining history also head to McCreary County, to the museum, cafe, and shops of downtown Stearns. Located in the heart of McCreary County, Stearns is widely known for being a gateway to the magnificent outdoor recreational opportunities nearby. The Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area and the Stearns District of the Daniel Boone National Forest are both easily accessed from this Kentucky Trail town. The Big South Fork region contains one of the highest concentrations of natural bridges in the eastern United States. The Scenic Railroad, headquartered in the depot building downtown, is a popular way to experience the beauty of this region. Blue Heron Mining Camp, once part of the Stearns Coal and Lumber Company's operation, is accessed by the Scenic Railroad and allows visitors to imagine life during the coal boom. The historic buildings of downtown Stearns offers visitors another kind of attraction all on their own, however. Holdovers from a time gone by, the original buildings of the Stearns Coal and Lumber Company have found new life. Today, several small shops and a cafe occupy the storefronts. My name is Shane Gilry. I'm the McCray County Museum Director. We're here in historic Stearns. Uh, Stearns is located in southern Kentucky. Uh, it's right uh, on the Tennessee border, uh, south of Somerset, which is a town most people are more familiar with. But it sprang to life in the turn of the, the last century, uh, toward the end of the Gilded Age, and a northern industrial baron named Justice Stearns came south, bought land in Kentucky and Tennessee, uh, to initially create a lumber uh, business. While he was here, he discovered uh, coal and built a railway, built the first all-electric power plant in the entire country, and the town of Stearns grew to become known as the Empire of the South, if you can imagine. Today, Stearns is principally a tourist town, and there are many things people can do here in, in Stearns, including visit the museum here. Uh, the museum opened in 1988, a year after the coal industry left McCray County, and the building we're in was actually the Stearns Company's office headquarters in the south. It was built in 1907, so we're still keeping it occupied. So if you come to the museum here, you will, you'll step back in the past, we like to say, and you'll, you'll see exhibits dating from the, the colonial period with the Native Americans through the period of the Stearns Coal and Lumber Company. We do have a moonshine still. You can't come to Kentucky without a moonshine still. Uh, which was actually working still in its day, confiscated by law enforcement. We, we have preserved the history of the Kentucky and Tennessee Railroad, uh, which is the tracks that the Big South Fork Scenic Railway run on today. Uh, we have a coal hall where we preserve the coal history. You can, you can see maps from the area, a coal map, see what life would have been like for the coal miners who went in, uh, into, the, into the mines every day. Uh, we have the original bank. The, the Stern State Bank was in this building. It was owned by the, the Stearns Company as well. All of the buildings in Historic Stearns are original buildings to our town. They were built between uh, the turn of the century and the 1920s. The Historic District in Stearns is owned by the McCray County Heritage Foundation. Um, and the McCray County Heritage Foundation's goal is to preserve that history from the, from the coal days uh, in Historic Stearns and really a broader uh, vision to preserve McCray County's history. Well, as a child, I would come and visit in the summertime and um, close to here is where my grandparents lived. But as a, as a child, I can remember that was one of the highlights of my summer was coming here to visit. And we would, uh, cousins, along with myself, we would walk to Stearns and we would go into the restaurant, to the soda fountain, have something to eat. And uh, at that point in time, I never dreamed that one day I would, you know, grow up and, and actually have a business here. Sweet Creations Gift Shop tempts shoppers with a little bit of everything. Well, here in our store, we try to have something for everyone. We try to keep things that are different. We spend a lot of time looking and, and doing research and trying to keep things that, are, that you wouldn't find in a, in a discount store or a big box store, um, more things that gear to a specialty market. A lot of unique toys, um, lots of different candies, including our homemade fudge that we do really well with. Pottery by Meg now occupies the old Stearns Post Office. There you might see owner Meg Marshall working diligently on her next piece of functional pottery. 
It's a lot of fun to tell people that this was originally the post office of Stearns and above our head was originally the company doctor. People really like the history and they come to understand the history and to tour the museum and understand everything that went on as a coal mining town. My pottery shop also has a working studio. I split the building in half. The front of it is the gift shop. Behind the wall is my working studio. I have two kilns and two potter's wheels. And I'm always throwing or making clay or making glazes and getting product ready to go into the kiln or coming out of the kiln. And people are welcome to come and watch me. In the Stearns General Store building, another artist, Alvin Powell, creates his unique handmade souvenirs from coal dust, molding them into his hand-carved designs. Shoppers can browse his collection at the Kentucky Coal Crafters Shop. Inside the depot building, the Whistle Stop Cafe offers visitors a chance for lunch or dinner, or perhaps a slice of pie after the train ride. Stearns is a, is a quaint town with a very nostalgic feel, so I, I think that we also sell nostalgia as much as we sell tourism in a time that uh, has gone by and that people, people don't really see anymore. Just the uniqueness of Stearns, the coal industry, the railroad industry, the lumber industry, uh, put, put food on a lot of tables for many generations, so it's important that we, we, main, we maintain that connection to the past, and maintain that connection to the culture and heritage of McCray County. I'm excited about watching Stearns grow and excited about seeing what we can bring to this small town and keeping it the southern feel of a small town but still welcoming people into our beautiful county.